Hi guys, welcome back to the Sweaty Potato Maya RC channel, home of the fastest Red Cat Rampage XT on YouTube. Um, today guys, I got the Red Pat, I got the Rampage back together and got it up back and back and going again. However, this is going to be, this is Sunday, so this is going to be another, another, I'm going to continue and pick up and tie up some loose ends, you know, some things that I didn't get, you know, to mentioning in my last video about my motorcycle testimony and, and stuff like that. And, um, uh, later on in the week, we'll get back to fifth scale RC and we're going to go out and do speed runs with the, with the rampage and everything like that. And I got the TMR 36 in it. And, uh, as you can see, it's taken quite a bit of a, you know, roll bodies all beat up. I got it, you know, fixed or whatever. So I can at least drive it. I got to get a new body coming for it. So, uh, let's get right into this stuff. Okay. Well, what I want to do is I want to pick up with some of the details of you know of my accident that I wasn't able to you know to uh, I guess to explain last time whether I you know whether it was because I forgot it or I'm having this issue on YouTube where I can't publish even though my account is verified I can't publish a video longer than 15 minutes which you know it's not all bad a lot of people don't want to sit and watch a 20 30 minute video but at the same time you're kind of under the gun trying to get out and portion you know important points and stuff so I want to pick up, you know, with the details of my accident, and um, you know, I I did get my job terminated, and by the grace of God, I was able to get on disability, and that was in a matter of a week. With with I I went down to the disability office and I applied for disability, and guys, within a week, I heard back from disability, and they <laughs> accepted my claim and and everything, and that. And most people that I know of, it takes them, you know, at least, you know, a year or two to get on disability. They got to fight, you know, tooth and nail to do it. And somehow I was just, just approved by the grace of God. And, and, you know, he took care of my family that way. And he took care of my finances, you know, um, through, you know, through the accident, me being able, not being able to work. Um, my church uh, donated money, you know, for our family to travel back and forth and, and stuff and um, you know we, we got a lot of gifts from a lot of people that you know we're trying to help out and 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 we're just so thankful that the Lord put those people in our lives to help us you know through this through that hard time that we ha we were going through and and uh, you know and that's you know kind of how God was working through other people to take care of my family you know to take care of them and stuff and and I just I'm so thankful for everything he's done and everything he's you know how he's worked in my life because like I said guys this has completely turned my life around you know I am a straight up Jesus freak just like Jeff from Eastside RC straight up Jesus freak and I'm, I'm never gonna change because I want to go to heaven and I want to I want to have that everlasting you know eternal salvation that is promised to us and and uh, that's what I want out of life and I also wanted to go over my my faith history guys because I, it's not like, you know, this accident, all of a sudden, you know, I found out about Jesus and, you know, I started believing in him. No, however, it goes back a long ways. I was, I was grown up in the Lutheran faith, Missouri Synod in Clarinda, Iowa. And I, I grew up in the church, went to Sunday school every Sunday, went to, went to midweek. Um, I was confirmed through the Lutheran, Lutheran faith. And if people know you know, if people aren't familiar with the Lutheran faith is, you, you go through confirmation. It's like, you know, in your middle school years and you get confirmed th it, through your faith. And it, it basically, it's, it's, it's a way of you being able to prove that you understand, you know, the Lord's Prayer, the Apostles' Creed, and all that stuff and what it, what it means and what, it, what it's talking about. You know, and I, and I was confirmed and everything. And, and uh, you know, I, I was... I just never completely bought into the whole thing. I never did. I just didn't. I just didn't. I just, there was always, a, you know, that questioning, you know, the questioning is like, man, I don't know. And then, you know, upon my confirmation, kind of a really bad deal. Uh, I uh, went for, I had to do questioning the day before confirmation and my grandpa had passed away and uh, I had to do 
my questioning, and then I had to go to visitation for my grandpa's funeral. And that was really hard for me to do, guys. But, uh, you know, I, I'm not saying that, you know, that was one of the reasons that I wasn't, you know, completely, you know, into the faith and into Jesus and all that stuff. Is just, I, I was always borderline, you know, clear up until my accident. It's just like, I was always grown up in the faith, but I never really completely bought it until, until I was able to walk with Jesus and stuff. Getting a little parched here. Another thing I wanted to talk about, guys, is, is uh, how our God-given talents and, and hobbies and how we use our God-given talents, how that brings him glory. And, and you know, that, that's why it's, it brings him glory to see me wrenching on my RC car and taking it out and making YouTube videos and using my, my God-given talents, the talents that he gave me, you know, set aside my abstract thinking because that, I got a damaged brain, guys, but, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still good at, at all this stuff, but it just takes me longer, you know, and that's, you know, that's one of the reasons why I'm disabled for the rest of my life is because I'm forever a liability because I can't remember things and stuff like that. And, but it, it brings glory to God for, for us to use, you know, our God-given talents and, you know, the things that he gave, gave us to use, you know, I'm good with working with my hands. I guess... The next thing is we'll start off with, I wanted to get into the, I guess the book that I wanted to go over is uh, the book of Mark. And what I want to do is I don't want to dump, jump right into the scripture. I kind of want to use my study Bible as, as it was meant to use and, and kind of show people how I use my study Bible and how I, you know, study the Lord's word. Okay, so before we get into the word, let's start off with prayer. Dear Heavenly Father. Holy Spirit, in Christ Jesus, our Lord, Savior, and Redeemer, we come to you in prayer. We pray you forgive us of our sins and give us the strength to forgive the people who sin against us. And Lord, we also pray that you watch over each and every one of my subscribers, viewers, likers, dislikers, lovers, haters, whatever there is out there. We pray that you watch over them and guide them and protect them. And they have a blessed rest of their week. We love you and we ask this in your name, God the Father, the Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ, our Lord, Savior, and Redeemer. Amen. Okay, the one thing I wanted to go over, guys, um, especially before we dive in, is the blueprint. And what the blueprint is, is the birth and preparation of Jesus the servant. And that's A, okay, and then B is message and ministry of Jesus the servant. And C, the death and resurrection of Jesus the servant. And here, I'll go ahead and read the blueprint. Jesus did not arrive unannounced or unexpected. The Old Testament prophets clearly predicted the coming of the Great One, sent by God Himself, who would offer salvation and eternal peace to Israel and the entire world. They came, then came John the Baptist, who announced that the long-awaited Messiah had finally come and would soon be walking, soon be walking among the people. In God's work in the world today, Jesus does not come unannounced or unexpected, yet many still reject him. We have the witness of the Bible, but some choose to ignore it, as many ignored John the Baptist in his day. Jesus had all the power of God. He raised the dead. He gave sight to the blind. He restored the deformed bodies. He quieted stormy seas. But with all his power, Jesus came to humanity as a servant. Servant. We can use his life as a pattern for how to live today. As Jesus served God and others, so should we. Okay, and then Jesus became, Jesus came as a servant. So many did not recognize or acknowledge him as the, the Messiah. We must be careful that we don't reject God or his will because he doesn't quite fit our image of what God should be. That's important, guys. That is very important. Jesus came as a certain. Jesus came as a servant. So many did not recognize or acknowledge him as the Messiah. We must be careful that we also do not reject God or his, or his will because he doesn't quite fit our image of what God should be. Because it's not our image, guys. We're created in his image. 
remember that. All right, and then I, I want to go on, you know, to the mega themes here. Um, and the mega themes are just, you know, they're just, I guess, just exactly what they say they are, just the mega themes. You know, um, the me one of the mega themes is Je Jesus Christ, of course, and the explanation. Jesus Christ alone is the Son of God. In Mark, Jesus demonstrates his divinity by overcoming disease, demons, and death. Although he had the power to be the king of the earth, Jesus chose to obey the Father and die for us. And the importance behind that. When Jesus rose from the dead, he proved that he was God. That he could forgive sin. And that he was the power to change our lives. By trusting in him for forgiveness, we can begin a new life with him as our guide. All right, and then the next one is servant. As the Messiah, Jesus f fulfilled the prophecies of the Old Testament by coming to earth. He did not come as a conquering king. He came as a servant. He helped people by telling them about God and healing them, even more by giving his life a sacrifice for sin. He performed the ultimate act of service. Now, what's the importance behind that? Because Jesus, because of Jesus' example, we should be willing to serve God and others. Real greatness in Christ's kingdom is shown by service and sacrifice. Ambition or love of power or position should not be our motive. Instead, we should go, we should do God's work because we love him. Okay, and then the next one is going to be miracles, guys. I'm, I'm sorry I'm just reading out of the Bible, but I'm just showing you guys how I study out of my Bible. So, and then we go on to miracles. Mark records more of Jesus' miracles than sermons. Jesus clearly is a man of power and action, not just words. Jesus did miracles to convince the people who he was and to confirm to the disciples his true identity, God. Okay, now the importance behind that, the more convinced we become that Jesus is God, the more we will see his power and his love. His mighty works show us he is able to save anyone regardless of his or her past. His miracles of forgiveness bring healing, wholeness, and change lives to those who trust in him. Okay, now the next, the last final mega theme is spreading the gospel. Okay, and this is what me and Jeff from Eastside RC are trying to do. We're trying to be disciples. Jesus directed his public ministry to the Jews when the Jewish leaders opposed him, Jesus also went to the non-Jewish world, healing and pre preaching. Roman soldiers, Syrians, and other Gentiles heard the good news. Many believed, and many followed him. Jesus' final messages, message to, the, to his disciples challenged them to go into all the world and preach the gospel of salvation. Like I said, me and Jeff from Eastside RC, that's what we're doing. Now the importance behind that, Jesus crossed national, racial, and economic barriers to spread good news. Jesus' message of faith and forgiveness is for the whole world, not just our church, our neighborhood, or our nation. We must reach out beyond our own people and needs to fulfill the worldwide vision of Jesus Christ so that people everywhere may hear his, this great message and be saved from sin and death. And so for, with that, guys... We're about out of time, um, so next week we're going to dive right into scripture. We're going to start off with, go verse by verse, and we're going to study the Bible, and I'm going to show you guys how I do it. So there's a, there's, I guess, the start of how I, how I do it. So, uh, yeah, so that's going to do it for today's video, guys. If you liked it, make sure you give, a, give it a thumbs up. And uh, this is a Sunday only thing, and uh, if you like what you see, you should probably subscribe, guys, because this is what I do on Sundays. And uh, if you have something on your mind, leave a comment in the comments section. We'll see you in the next one.